And the moment you think you know it all, you have lost yourself again. It's one of the major things that I've discovered in my life. Is by the time we reach an age where we understand we need to learn something that we don't really know at all, it's usually in the late 30s or sometime in the 40s. If you've discovered that earlier than that, you are the exception, you are not the norm. Because it isn't true that during the first years of our life, we're just discovering the world around us. We're subject to the authority of our parents and we're subject to the dictates of our parents, the authority of our parents, our preacher, our minister, um, high school teachers, principals, the community at large. And isn't it true that during those years we're basically trying to serve some sense of discover who we are and what the world is about and not really what the truth is? sort of fit our way into it whether we think we belong or not and isn't it true that during those years the major preoccupation with most people is to be liked by everybody else isn't that what most of us spend most of our time in high school doing trying to be liked by everybody else so that instead of looking for the truth or doing the right thing we do what we think the other children around us would like for us to do so that they will like us. Now it's not bad to admit that because it's a human thing and every person in their younger years goes through that. Then we get into our later teens and our early 20s and, and what is the major preoccupation on everybody's mind? Sex! Right? Anybody who says no I'll call them a liar to their face. It's sex. Whether you'll admit it or not, it's the truth. And because to be involved in that activity, or to have someone, whether you're involved in actually having sex or not, but the sexuality of being with someone else, you have to have a job. And you have to have a car. And you have to be able to talk the talk and walk the walk, right? So that takes up our life. And then sometime, usually in the later 20s, some guy sets out to get a girl and she traps him. <laughs> right? So they get married. Some people don't. And that's to their great credit because personally, folks, after having lived my life, and being honest with myself, any woman who marries a man before he's the age of 36 is a fool. Because most men aren't ready for that. They're not mature enough. And you're just asking for trouble. But people have done it and succeeded. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. <laughs> But that's what in, we're all wrapped up in that stuff. And none of it really means anything. Because it's all going to happen to you anyway. If you are just doing the right thing, you're going to attract the right people. And if you're a man, the right woman's going to come along. And if you're a, a woman, the right guy's going to come along. If you're involved in doing right things. But the problem is, we try to make it happen. And that's where we get in trouble. And we ignore all the most important things that we should be involved in in our life that really matter because this these other things are just natural things that are going to happen you can't make somebody like you in high school whatever in the world made us think that that we could make people like us if we just go along and do what we're supposed to do and just be ourselves people are going to like us but we think we have to make it happen or we think if we do this or we do that, Susie's going to like us more and uh, we're going to have the hot date we've always dreamed about. 